Shalom, kwam, kwa kita. Kwam ya shalom. So you want to know about the white man, eh? I'll tell you. What are you looking at? Damn bitch. So hear this, my brothers. This is that Revelations. Chapter 9, or chapter 2, verse 9. I know, th I know thy works, and tribulation, and poverty, but thou art rich. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews, and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. So there's a group of people on the earth who say they are the Jews, and they are not. But they are the synagogue of Satan, meaning the chief house of Satan, my brother. They own the, everything, bro. All those fake ass Jews. You know they played a um, sympathy card back in World War Two, when they started World War One. They governed. Uh, they were the president of Germany in World War One. Started World War One and go fight their own neighbors. There, it's just Jews bullying over other countries and making countries fight each other. Now I want to tell you about the white man, known as the Red Devil. So that's one white man, now. Fuck the Red Devil, They're red skin cows. Does the sun like them? No. Want to hear something good news? Want to hear what the God of the Bible talks about the white man? Want to know that the white man is hated? And he's the devil that the Bible speaks of? Yeah, I know. But we need documents and proof so we can use it in the courthouse, eh? Can't just um, accuse people for a crime when you have no proof. You need proof, and this is the proof here. This is got a document, it's a witness. To all the crimes committed against our people. So, I want to read this easy peasy verse. This is uh, Romans 9, chapter 13. Because when I'm going to read the scriptures, never ever talk over it. You have to just listen. Okay? So, in the reads, Romans chapter 9, verse 13. As it is written, Jacob. That my love, you know, thank you. This that's one word. Oh, yeah, we're Jacob, 12 tribes of Picaro, Israel. They're scared of the poor. We're just one corner of our outside of the world. So, God said He loves you, bro. Jacob, that my love, this is Revelation of oh, Romans chapter 9, verse 13. Jacob, and it, oh, as it is written, Jacob, that my love, but Esau, that my hate. Now Esau is the father of the red skin devil, my brother. Oh, the God hates Esau. Oh. Oh. Yeah, because God, God, you know, God hates him. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, if we got hate, then our creator's got hate. If we got love, our creator's got love. Okay? We can't be a better superior being than the creator. Yeah, nah. Uh, those Maldives who do that to us, um, they're called hypocrites. They think they're better than you because they can speak to them. Speaking language doesn't make you intelligent. Okay. Knowing wisdom, understanding, truth, laws, that's intelligence. Common sense. 
is a sense. It's not a form of intelligence. So I'm going to get you another one, guys. Okay, you know that this the God, the God of the Bible, is only the God of us and only our God. He's yeah. Well, this that's why I come to teach you, my God. Because this is what I want. I want our people to know this God. Because they're just finding this shit out. So I want to tell you, um, Joel, chapter 2, verse 27. And it reads, And ye shall know, so ye shall know this one, Ruth, that I am in the midst of Israel, and that I am the Lord your God, and none else. And my people shall never be ashamed. So the God of the Bible, the that's why he's called the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. He's not the God of everybody. He's not the God of Esau. Understand? He's not the God of the white man. Yeah. He's the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And he's only our God. This is our Aramah, the Allah. This is, it doesn't belong to nobody else on the planet. You know, everybody's unwise. We can all the holy days. You know, we made a co-op with Maui. And Maui gave us the jawbone, and here it is in my left hand. And all our people walk away from them, from Mount Hukurangi, just like Maui's brothers did when they saw Mount Hukurangi. They looked away in fear. Scared. Yeah. They looked away in fear because they had none understanding. They couldn't comprehend the knowledge that was given unto them and laid out to them in the foundation of the law. Yeah. So what's your name, guys? Croydon. Huh? Croydon. Yeah. Oh, my dude. Ah, but I'm not here all the time. You want to learn more and more than that? Hey, you want to learn more? Ah, yeah, I am. Well, I'm here every weekend, okay? Yeah. Hmm. And you go tell all the people to keep the commandments. Come here, I'm going to tell you a commandment. Oh, I'm going to tell all the fucking boys. Hey, you see that? Oh, hey, please, please. Yeah, that's right. Ah. Uh, well, I'm going to get you a commandment, okay? Just a simple law. Today, you know what today is? Saturday? It's the seventh day. Oh, right. Yeah. Well, Hope Patu. Hope Patu is when we whack the people with the word and rest all the hatred. Right. So we do that. Well, you know you're an Israelite? Uh, no. Nah. Oh, really? Really? Well, the blacks, the blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, the Maoris, and a few islanders across the uh, Pacific Ocean are the Hebrew Israelites. We are the Israelites. Ikaro is the great Milky Way. And that's who we are. Okay, I'm going to get you a commandment, my friend. Okay? This is a law from God. Yeah. You have to listen to what God says, okay? And listen to what I say. Okay? This is what God says. This is what Allah Yama says. So, and it reads, And the Lord spake unto Maui, saying, Speak unto the children of Ikaro, and bid them, bid means to command, and bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments throughout their generations. Kids, listen to this. This is a law from God given to Maui, to Maui's children, us. So, okay? And he's here? So, and the Lord spake unto Maui, saying, Speak unto the children of Ikaro. We're the children of Ikaro, the Milky Way above us. That's Ikaro, and we're Ikaro. Speak unto the children of Ikaro, and bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments throughout their generations. These are fringes. You're meant to wear these throughout your generations, meaning forever. That's why our ancestors will keep you and all that. It's because God said, 
And now I just love God. Now God is Hawa. Awake. It's where we from in. So our God asks us to wear beautiful boys so we can identify each other and know it's our family and our people. Okay? And it shows that we love the most high. And we love our ancestors, okay? So I want to read it again one more time so you get it into your mind. This is a law from the, the Most High God told Maui to tell his children. And the Lord spake unto Maui, saying, Speak unto the children of Ikaro, and bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments throughout their generation. And they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. That's why I got a ribbon of blue. And it shall be unto you for a fringe, that you may look upon it. And that's why our ancestors used to grab them. You know, come after. That's why we grab them. So we look at them and remember all the commandments of the Lord, Hawa, and do them, and that ye seek not after your own heart and your own eyes after which you used to go a whoring. So it stops us from worshiping other people and other gods. And it makes us remember who we are. We're forgetting who we are, right? So don't forget who you are, okay? Tell your mom and dad and your families and everybody we're meant to wear our people. Make it look stylo, you know? It looks cool, cool eh? It looks pretty stylo. Now I've still got my older day one. Then I've still got little funny ones. Yeah, but that's me showing love to use. I want to keep this law because I love use. Yeah. And that's how you know you love the most high and love use. So it's once you want to keep the light for use. Yeah, because if the most high said we have to love each other, then how do we love each other? By keeping the commandments of the Lord. I'll show you. Now, he's good kids. Not much people want to hear this, but uh, the Most High said, his, his children hear his voice. Mm. See, he's heard his voice, even though it's coming from me. Mm. So, okay. Um, so, I want to get this one. This is my commandment. This is John 15, verse 12. This is my commandment, that ye love one another as I have loved you. And that's what we got to do is love one another. Not, not the enemies, the ones who came here and conquered our country. Yeah, we love us, our people. And that's the blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, the Maori, and a few islands in the Pacific Grounds. Yeah. And we're the Kaitiaki, we mean to stand up for them. Because they're getting impressed. We're all getting impressed, but we're the strongest family. So we're going to stand up for everybody else. And that's what she's going to do in your future. She's going to become great kings, great princesses, ruling and governing this place. That's the future. Okay? Think big. Mm. So what's your name? Tiana. So Tiana. I'm only Kaitani I'm, I'm a Kaitani for here to give the color to you. This is the color, the everlasting light. Ka means the light. And the wa means everlasting. So he's one everlasting light. That means keep the commandments. I get you one more. You gotta watch out for these devils. Because they say they know the Lord. They say they know God and all this and all that. But read. This is first John. Chapter 2, verse 4. And it reads, He that saith, I know him, and keepeth not his commandments, if they ain't got these on, and keepeth not his commandments, is a liar, and the truth is not in him. So if they're telling me this and that about the most high, and they don't even got this on, they're a liar. That's what God said. Because God said, If you love me, keep my commandments. And this is love. Do you know what love is? Love. Well, this is love that we keep His commandments. Well, this is the love of God that we keep His commandments. So that's why I keep God's commandments because I love you. And I'm gonna, I'm here showing the world that I'm here for my people only. Yeah. 
Now, that's why I come here on the streets every week, you know, we here every week doing the same thing, telling the truth. So you see, everybody learns. So yeah, you want to know anything more? You want to know what children are meant to learn? I'll tell you what the first thing children are meant to learn. I am. Judges 3 and 2 Only that the generations of the children of Ikarov might know to teach them war at least such as before knew nothing thereof so the first thing you must learn is war mm. He's got to learn the tactics of war. First, they start in your mind. First, they go into your house and attack you in your house, your family. They'll make the woman more powerful than the man. They make the, the life of the man harder, and then the couples have problems. That's why we have a lot of in-house problems in our people, because they are attacking us in the house. First, they attack your mind, and they'll attack your house. They'll take your children away, so they go to the school, and it's building up our families. That's the war side of things you don't understand. You think of violence and all this, and that is war. Nah, war is with words. Me, I can smile on your face and tell you a big ass lie. That's war. So you've got to learn war proper. Where to my towing up? For who? For who to my towing up? Oh, yeah. That's who we are. So we got to be the best at it. Mm. Someone else is beating, it, beating us at the war group. So our children, the first thing you must learn is how to be tactical in warfare, how to learn how to make. Like how you fish up a fish properly. That's called a, a battle. Pika is a battle. You gotta capture the right fish. See that's my bird? You gotta capture the right fish egg with the right bait at the right time in the right place. Then that's part of the learning war. Mm. Who's your friend? Who's your enemy? Who's got your back? Who doesn't have your back? Mm. Who likes to show off? Who doesn't like? Those are all little war tactics that you gotta learn first. And then you'll become wise like a serpent. Harmless like a dove. Mm. Well, these things is the most powerful war weapon that two months ago I had, that Maui had, was the power of karakia, the power of the tongue, the power of the words. So use your father's words wisely to make lead people into the right direction. Use the voice. Use have the power to trick people's minds. So you trick, they're getting, our minds are getting tricked to do wicked and evil things, right? So you trick everybody's minds to do something good for each other. We Imagine us Maori people getting together, making our own nation, having our own kings and queens, ruling ourselves, governing ourselves. Each helping can make at least 10 to $20 million a year yeah. mm, if we govern ourselves. So yeah, I'm out here. Um, this is not the white man's book, so I'm going to show you whose book it belongs to. This is Isaiah 41, chapter 1. Oh. Isaiah chapter 41, verse 1, and it reads, Keep silence before me, O islands. So the most high is talking to some islands. Which islands? Now go to verse 9. Thou whom I have taken from the ends of the earth, and called thee from the chief men thereof, and said unto thee, Thou art my servant, I have chosen thee, and not cast thee away. So he, he's talking to the people at the end of the earth on the islands, to the chief men there all. He said unto them, I have chosen you and not cast you away. He's telling you to come home now. 
That's why we didn't know this. Now we're starting to know this. Now go to verse 15. Behold, I will make thee a new sharp fishing instrument having teeth. So he's giving us a new sharp fishing instrument having teeth. What do you think that is? What's a sharp instrument having teeth? What's a weapon that our ancestors had had teeth? No, no, that's a, no, that's that's all right, but what's what's the most famous weapon that one of our ancestors had that had a teeth on it? A raku. What did Maui have? Right? Okay. A hook. He had a jawbone. Yeah. He had a jawbone. And what does a jawbone have? It has teeth. So the most high said to those people on the island, said he's gonna build, I'll make thee a new sharp fish instrument having teeth. So he's gonna give you a new instrument having teeth. And you said it's the jawbone. So we'll clarify that. This is Judges, chapter 15, verse 15. And he found a new jawbone of an ass. And put forth his hand and took it and slew a thousand men therewith. So that's what the Most High is going to give us a new jawbone. And this is it. This is the new jawbone. This jawbone can speak. Everyone's looking for a hook. But it's this. Everyone's thinking a, a jawbone that no man spoke to him. He listened. Like I was speaking to you, I'm giving you the word, and the word came from my jawbone, and it goes to your ear, your taringa, and you hearken, and you hear. Now you're walking around with the jawbone. Yeah, but this is it, really. This is the real jawbone. This is what we're going to use to conquer Tamatera. You know who Tamatera is? He's the one ruling and oppressing you right now. The sun represents who rules. The most, he's the highest person in, the, in power. That's why we call ourselves Ra. Ra means king. That's why he, he's ruling over us right now and we all get it So what Maui's going to do is go and smack him over, eh? But how do we smack him over? It's a word. We don't use violence at all. We think, we think war's killing and all that. We war's checked. You know this, okay? Yeah. Use your smarts and your wits to outsmart people all the time. To bring people with you, push them away. If they're not worthy for you, push them away. Or keep them around. Use them for your benefits. Because we got to be smarter than anybody else. Or wiser than anybody else. What's the next bit? Mids, look up to your girl. Okay? And you go, tell your men to rise up. Rise up and defend your men. Well, all praises, standard, standard, standard protocols. That was a nice little warm up. A little nice little warm up, eh? Bit rusty, but I need a better book. Cause I don't read these one. I don't read these ones. Nah, they just my. They just hold down my floor. Yeah, so I wonder how much footage I can get. I'm gonna cut this all up or something. I don't know. I might just hold it down. Yeah, 